Hey everyone, welcome back to Toe of the Week. Stay tuned to see what I chose to go with this set I did on Monday. Welcome back everyone. Great to see each and every one of you and great to be back in doing another toe design. I'm excited for you to see this set. Turned out just as cute as the nails. Check them out. Aren't those just precious? I love them. I love the little cheetah butterflies. I just love the idea. Love the way they turned out. Love how the toes are always a little bit different, but they always coincide. And of course, I can't wait to show you Fashion Friday, as always, the outfit that will match the whole ensemble. So I hope all of you guys are doing well. I'm going to read a quick Bible verse for you. I'm going to read Hebrews, Hebrews 13, 6. So we say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can mere mortals do to me? What a wonderful Bible verse. When you are close to God and you are walking with God, there is nothing to fear. Like I said, 365 times in this good book of, of God, <laughs> I want to say Jesus, but Jesus God, the good word of God it says it 365 times, we have nothing to fear. No matter what happens to us, what do we have to fear? Nothing can harm us, nothing can hurt us. And we have a home in heaven one day. So don't be afraid, guys, of this pandemic we're going through. And I like to say that in every video now, fear not, just enjoy your life, take precaution and be safe. But fear not, for God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you, no matter what. So I hope you guys are enjoying these Bible verses. I hope you're reading them. I'm hoping you're starting your day with Jesus, going through the day with Jesus, and ending your day with Jesus. Listening to Christian music, praying, meditating, fasting, you know, getting healthy, eating healthy. If you do need help with that, I do have my keto linked down. If you are in my Angels Heavenly Nails, it's linked down below if you need help with that and want to get started on that. I do teach that in my Keep It Keto. In my Keep It Keto, if you're in there and you only like the nails, fashion, and outfits, then you can go ahead and just go over there and subscribe to the Angels Heavenly Nails channel. But yeah, I do help. So if you guys need help, I help for free. I'd love to get everybody healthy. But remember, keep God with you always. He's the most important, and he's going to get you through this pandemic. It's going to be over with before you know it, guys. So anyways, if you are new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you are notified of all of my uploads. Definitely share my channel, like I said, so I can help many people get their life back and get healthy since I am almost at 200 or 2,000 people that I have helped get healthy, and I want to continue. During this pandemic, we need to be healthy, the healthiest we can be. So definitely share my channel around. And if you like this toe design, these cute little cheetah butterflies, shoot me a thumbs up. And also my shoe collection. Stay tuned for that. And the last pair will be the ones I wear for my Fashion Friday for this week for this set. So definitely wait for that. And then after that, you'll see the pictures and photos of the toenails I did. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. I love you all very much. God bless. Take care. And I'll see each and every one in my very next upload. Now let's get on to this toe design and shoe collection. Hi everyone. So here's what I chose to go with for this week's toe design. A beautiful butterfly and cheetah look matching the nails I did on Monday. If you'd like to see how I did these set of toes, stay tuned. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week getting ready to do another beautiful spring look that matches with the nails I did on Monday. If you didn't get a chance to see that, definitely check it out. It's Little Cheetah Butterflies and Cheetah Accent uh, Ring Finger. We're gonna be doing the same with the toes. The only difference is, is I'm only gonna be putting the butterfly on the big toes. We'll do a cheetah look on these. And these ones I'm just gonna leave plain, but I believe I will put um, a rhinestone on it. I like to put something on it. so. I'll either do a little line of the tan or I'll do just a rhinestone, but usually I do the toes just a little bit different from the fingers. So 
I'll go over and show you. I'm using all the same supplies I used in Monday's video. If you didn't get a chance to see it, like I said, definitely check that out. So here's what I used. For starters, for that teal color, I used this beautiful uh, Mermaid Magic I got from Walmart, LA Colors. I got it last fall to the winter time, and it's called Sea Life. Very beautiful, beautiful teal. It's gorgeous, and it's got uh, different colors running through it. It's gorgeous. I love it. And then for the uh, middle toe here, I'm just using this one by the Kiss Gel. That's from Dollar Tree, and it's just called Tan. It's a beautiful uh, tan color. And then I topped everything off and dried it with the Sesh Feet. Whoops, wrong one. The Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I use that. I got that from, um, you get it from Sally's, Walmart, or I order it off of Amazon. I get a nice big bottle of it, and I just keep refilling it. All right, and then I'll need acrylic paints. I'm going to be working with black, brown, and this tan color, which I'm going to mix in a little bit of brown into the tan so that it gets a little darker for the butterflies. The tan one is called... Um, Country Twill. It's hard to see that. Some paint over it. I got this from this one from Join Fabrics. These from Walmart. It's the brown oxide and the black. I'll be using those three colors. Working with Robin Moses's brush. I don't have it in front of me to show you, but I'll show you that as I go along. And then I'll be putting on some crystals. I'm going to be using the little teal ones here for the uh, toe that's going to be my cheetah nail. I'll use the teal ones right there. I got this wheel from Hobby Lobby, and you get 500 stones in there. And then on the butterfly, on the big toe, I'm going to be using these um, iridescent AB Swasky crystals. If you see them in there, those tiny little crystals, I'm going to use those uh, through the butterfly's body like I did on the fingers here. You'll see how I put it through the body. And I believe I'll put some on the baby toes as well. I'll glue them down with the ASP glue that I got from Sally's. I always glue them down and I just use an orange wood stick to pick them up and glue them down. And then I will top everything off, of course, starting with my Northern Lights. And when you shake it up, it gets a beautiful holographic micro glitter in there and it just looks beautiful. I got this from Sally's it's in a silver tone. And then I will dry everything up with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat at the very end over all the stones and everything, even that glitter that I put on. Um, I'm going to go over the stones with this glitter. You don't really notice that. So I think that's everything other than her brush, and I'll show you that as I go along. So I'm going to start off with getting my palette ready to do the little cheetah print on the smaller toe, and then we'll go on to the butterflies. So let me get some done, and I will return. All right. So far, I've got the little spots to start the cheetah spots on my middle toe, and then I've got the little butterflies going on the big toe. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing that. We're going to draw in. I'm going to start with this one right here. I'm just using the brown here, and I'm putting a little bit on. Here's Robin's brush that I'm going with. It's RobinMosesNailArt.com, and it's called the Wand. And I'm just going to be using that with the brown here, just a little bit of brown. And we're just going to make some spots. And you don't want them to be circles. You just want them to be spots So because it's cheetah print. So just do it how you feel. You know, you like your print or whatever. Just put them wherever you want and just kind of, you know, make it a blob like so that it, it isn't in like this even round circle print. You want it to look like a cheetah print. All right. And then for the butterfly, we're going to go into this color I made here. I added some brown into it. We're going to make our butterfly. All right. So we're just going to start down in here, and I'll make the butterfly go down first. So just do the wings like I do my uh, petals when I do my flowers. Just going to do two on each side, fanning it out like that, looking like a butterfly. And then we're just going to do two little spots coming down here like that. And that's the bottom of the butterfly. And then we'll do one up here coming the other way. So again, you just want it to fan out as if you're doing like my flowers, okay? Just fan it out, and you want this to look like a butterfly, so, and not like a, you know, an actual sticker. You want it to look like a painting. Again, just bring it down and bring it down, just two little spots for the bottom of the butterfly, just like that. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we've got that part done. We're going to let this dry back up here. I'm going to let this dry, and... Let's see, I got it back up a little farther. And then we will come back after I've done the black spots on here. I'm going to do the black and do the black into the little butterflies. We'll come back and show you the other toe. Okay, 
So now you see I've got this one done up as a cheetah print. And then the um, toe with the butterflies, I've done in a darker chocolate brown for the spots. And like I said in my nail video, it kind of looks like chocolate chip cookies. But they're little, you know, spots because we're trying to make it look like a cheetah print butterfly. All right, so let's draw in. I'm going to start with the black, and we'll do the little spots on the smaller toe here. You just want a little bit of paint on your brush, very, very little. Let's see if I can show that. And then we're just gonna go around each one. Just stifle around each one however you want. Okay, just making sure that you're getting it to be a cheetah print. So just a little bit of paint and you can go around it however you feel fit around each one, but you gotta go around each one, okay? And then once you do that, then take a little bit of black in between, not doing a dot, doing like a little blob again of black through the design because that's what gives it that cheetah print. And just find spots that you feel fit to put it. Don't overdo it because then it wouldn't look like a cheetah print, just like that. And now the butterfly, I'm gonna go into this brown that I made that I added a little bit of black in and that's what we're gonna do the spots for the butterfly. Just getting a very small amount of paint, again, very little. And we're just gonna kind of do dots, but just kind of blob dots. You know, they're not gonna be these perfect dots and these butterflies are so small. So you just, you know, however you feel, again, that they would look good. And through the bottoms, I'm just doing little dots because they're so tiny. You wouldn't believe how small this art is. People probably don't even realize how tiny it is. I would have to show you with something, use an example. Robin Moses is, uses a, like a penny to show how small it is. But just go through with the brown like that and then we'll get that print in there. But yeah, it looks like little chocolate chip <laughs> butterflies. So, all right, now what I'm going to do is let this dry up and then we're gonna do the black around the butterflies. I'll get one done and I'll come back. Okay, now you see how it turned into a cheetah butterfly. Isn't that cute? I will draw in so you can see it a little bit better, but see how now it looks like a cheetah butterfly with the spots. I'm actually gonna do another little spot right here, like that. Okay, so let me show you how I'm doing that. I'm just gonna take just a tiny bit of paint on the end of my brush again, and we're gonna go through these little brown spots. We're just putting black around it, just through it, kind of like doing spots through the, you know, just over the brown spots. Not over, but kind of around and through them. So if you see, I'm not covering up the brown, I'm just adding in black through it too. So it gives it that, you know, cheetah print feel, like that. Okay, now we're gonna go around them like we did the spots. Just go around and kind of stiffle and put it how you want it, you know, just so it looks like cheetah. Same thing with this one here. Go around and around. And when you do the bottom, don't have a lot of paint on and try to come to a point with these, the end of their uh, butterfly wings there. All right, and then the top one, the same thing. Just stiffle it making it look like cheetah. I think this was such a cute idea, giving, you know, the butterfly a cheetah feel. I thought that was so cute. Okay, and then just go around the bottom here. A little bit harder to do um, the bottom parts of it or whatever. And if you get too much black in there, you could easily just go through with the brown and add in a little bit more brown in there. So there's not so much black. And that's pretty easy to do, as you see. I'm just kind of fixing it like that, just to give it more of that, you know, that feel of cheetah. And I just want to kind of fix this top here. So I'll just go around like that. See how it gives it the cheetah feel of butterflies? It's so cute. And each one turns out differently. They really are darling and cute. Uh, you might get a little bit more black than brown, but it doesn't matter. Each one is different and unique in itself and very, very cute. I love the look, you know, the look of it. All right, so I'm gonna back up here. We're gonna let these dry up. I'm gonna figure what I'm gonna do with the baby toes. I might add maybe brown in it, I'm not sure, or just the rhinestones. So we're gonna get some of those done and rhinestones through the design and I will return. Okay, I decided to do little black spots through the teal designs just to give it more of that cheetah feel. And I forgot to show you that part. So basically I just went through and just did little black blobs. That's all you have to do. Just go through each little toe and just add the little black spots like that. It kind of made it 
come together a little bit better. Now I'm gonna do the rhinestones. Okay, so now I've got the crystals running through the butterflies. I also added the little antlers or their feelers. I forgot to do that, so I'll show you over here. And then I added the blue crystals through, or the teal crystals through the cheetah nail. And then on these, I just added one little small crystal in the centers, if you see that. And I'll draw in a little bit closer so you can see that. Isn't that pretty? I like it. And then you see the baby toes with the one. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and work on that. We're gonna start off with doing the little antlers. I'm just gonna put, or the feelers, whatever you call them. Just get a little tiny bit of paint, and I'm just going to just draw just a little tiny swiggly line, and the same thing with this one, like that. And then, of course, I gotta put the black dots through these because I didn't do that. So I'll show you that, just doing the black dots, and this kind of how I would have done my small toes just doing little black dots. You don't need a lot of paint on your brush and just put them wherever you feel fit. And again, it's a spot, not a circle. So just like kind of a blob, just wherever you feel fit, wherever you feel you would like a spot, it'll be perfect. Okay, all right, so now that part is done. We're gonna put the rhinestones on now. So I've got a little cap here with some glue on it. I'm gonna add a little bit more glue to the cap, I've got the stones out. You see, I've got the little uh, blue stones. This is my cap here, and there's the glue to the end there. I'm just gonna dip with the orange wood stick, and I'm just gonna put a couple little dots on my um, cheetah toe here, because I wanna get some of those blue rhinestones in there. Okay, wipe it off, and now we'll grab my rhinestones. I wanna make sure they're all separate, though, because you don't want them to turn upside down or it fogs them. This one keeps coming together. Okay. And then just set them down into the little spots that I've made. Some of them are together, so I have to separate them. And just set them down. Is that the right color? Okay. If it turns over, get rid of it, because it'll fog, and you do not want that to happen. So just be picking them up and setting them down the right way so they don't fog. And make sure you're getting the right color, because my wheel gets a little mixed up here. Sometimes the colors run together, so I gotta make sure that I'm getting the right colors. Let's see, is this a teal? Yeah. Let's see, flip that over. Okay, I'm getting that wrong on my stick here. I need a little bit more glue right there. And then my little stone. Hope you're seeing this. Putting the little stone on. Okay, and then the butterflies, we're just gonna go like this and put a line through the body here on both sides. And we're gonna get those uh, beautiful clear crystals through there, those beautiful Sawaski uh, multicolor stones. And they're very tiny. They're smaller than the little blue stones. And I'm just going to put three on each one because these butterflies are pretty small. Whoops. Just grabbing them out of here and setting them down through the body. This is going to be the body of the butterflies like I did on my fingers. Okay, and I should have enough glue still on here. If not, I'm just gonna add just a tad more just to make sure. And we'll get the three on there, going right down the center of these butterflies. This one's moving a little bit. Just make sure they're lined up right. Okay, so that's done. And then I'll just show you on these ones I just put just right in the center, I did a little dot of glue right in the centers so I could just put just a small little crystal inside of each one just to give it a little bit more, just like that. So I'll grab a small little stone for each one and just set it down right in the middle there. You might not see the pinky when I do the pinky one. but I thought it was a good idea and just give it a little bit of, you know, more sparkle. There it is on the baby toe too. 
So you see, isn't that pretty? I just love the this design. I think it's very spring-like, very cute. So, all right, so we've got these done now, and I'm going to go over them with the Northern Lights, like I did on the fingers, to sparkle it up. And then we're going to put the sesh bead on. Actually, I can probably just show you one as I go along here. Actually, I'll just do one and show you. You want to shake this up really, really good. It's a top coat, but I still top coat after this because it's got glitter in it, and I always just got like OCD. But here it is here. When you shake it up, it's so beautiful. And I'll draw in and just show you going over the big toe. I'm going to go over the stones and everything. I still got this cut here. It's healing up. But yeah, I had cut myself, and then I kind of reopened it wearing another pair of shoes. So I got to be careful. But you just go over like that, and you'll see it'll give it just that little bit of sparkle. Sorry, I'm probably in your way here. So you see the sparkle on the brush, and we're just going to go right through the design, right over the stones and everything. Just be very careful, though, so you don't ruin your design. So be very careful when you're going over this design. You know, do a light touch so that it doesn't smudge it, okay? And that's what I'm gonna do with every single toe. I'm gonna go around like that, and then we're gonna add the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat at the very end. I'm gonna get just a little bit off that went onto the skin. But then you see it gives it that little bit of sparkle, and you'll see more at the end. So I'm gonna get all of these done up and dry them with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I'll be in to show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done. And didn't these turn out adorable? Just as cute as the cheetah butterfly nails I did on Monday. Love the way these turned out. And I love that I'm adding in the toe designs now. Since it is spring, I do it for spring and summer, some fall. And then in the winter, of course, I just paint them plain. But I love to add them in, and I just think that they turned out adorable. I hope you guys love them and definitely try them out. And stay tuned for my shoe collection. The last set, of course, will be the set I'll be wearing in this week's Fashion Friday to match this set. And after that, you'll see pictures and photos of the toe design. So stay tuned for that. Hope all of you guys are doing well. God bless. Take care. And I'll see each and every one of you in my very next upload.